Greetings everyone, my name is Altarian and welcome back to the sixth chapter, which we have had already. This one is called Through Thick and Thin. We're going in deep. Despite Lucas' bitterness, Gran was right. He needed to hash things out with Rolo. You do need. A big fight changes the nature of a friendship. A Whether lot. in the end, it is for the better or for the worse, all comes down to understanding. True. If one is not careful, True. the same familiarity True. that builds the strongest of bonds can become the wrecking ball that shatters them. It's a fragile thing, friendships. I can agree. Luca emerged from seclusion, taking in the crisp festival air. But yeah. the events of the day weren't on his mind. He had to find Rolo. Let's go. On an adventure to find Rolo. By the way, what do we do? Can we go back? It's been a while since we've been here. Is there anything here? See the experience. Why don't you sneeze, little boy? Hmm. Let's go say hi. Nothing. Are you sure there's nothing here? Okay. Just a just a quick check, guy. Just a quick check. Just to be sure. Just in case something is special. But anyways, let's try and go find Rolo here. There you are, Luca. We. My stable. I'll have to turn that. There we go, I wasn't sitting super comfortable. Uh, Luca! Rolo wanted uh, me to tell you something. What is it? Roxy rolled her eyes, shaking. Uh, a space adventure, though you needn't buy it. If you're brave, go somewhere quiet. Oh, Roxy, I don't. It's a riddle, Luca. My goofy little brother wants you to find Luca him. Luca looked down and kicked at the dirt. <laughs> Look, I know you two had a fight, the, but the only thing more annoying than my little brother is my little brother without his best friend. So, I'm doing this, I'm doing him this one favor. Now, I need one favor from you. Whatever it is that went down between you guys, squash it. Alright, alright, alright. Right. <clears throat> a space adventure, though you needn't buy it. If you are brave, go somewhere quiet. A space adventure, you needn't buy it. A space adventure. The road leading to Beacon Pine. Yeah, we already know this. <clears throat> A space adventure. Oh my god, it's the fair. Let's go talk. Un unique New York, unique New York. Huh? Oh, don't mind me. Just warm me up from a big ceremony Mr. speech. Pointed to his grinning mouth. Gotta limber up the old gap box. You nervous? Oh heavens no. Well break a leg. <clears throat> okay. How goes the beetle hunt? Pretty rotten. I haven't seen so much in the excuviae. Not uh and it's not just the beetles. This morning I couldn't find any critters at all. It's like everything that buzzes or skitters just packed up and left. I'm sure they're somewhere. Maybe all the commotion of the festival just spooked them. Yeah, maybe that's it. No more insect. That is extremely bad. Welcome to our festival. Don't forget to come back after Mr. Kerr's speech and the perennial harvest festival sign reveal. You don't want to miss it. Okay. Okay, somewhere quiet. Let me find something somewhere. Let me with him. I don't know who perennial harvest thinks they're impressing with this ridiculous festival. Totally. This town's still falling apart. Better still Kirby. And the season harvest looks like it's gonna be worse than last year. You said it. No amount of corporate pandering is gonna change any of that. Exactly. But the lemonade and the drink stand over there does look pretty tasty. Fits. I'm still gonna be mad at them. I'd just rather be mad while sipping some delicious lemonade is all. Can't blame her. Alright, Morven. Got it. Jeff was staring into the <clears> distance <throat> with a wistful look. Why? Hey Jeff, are you everything alright? Uh, yeah, fine, everything is fine. I mean it used to be fine. I just ain't right these days, you know? Do actually. Jeff turned to Luca with a furrowed brow, then gave an understanding nod. <clears throat> you do, don't ya? For a moment, 
moment, the two now shared that same wistful gaze. Hmm. Gazing. Alrighty. What are the bullies doing? Hehehe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every single time. Yep. <gasps> That's firework! Nice! Wait for it. Unexplainable sound once again noted. These guys are weirdos. I like clockwork. What a bunch of drones. <laughs> Interesting. Let's remember this. Let's remember this. But a place quiet. A most welcoming of welcomes. Would you like to share your thoughts? We always strive to improve. Nope. This is the first time I've seen uh, these smiling faces since the full harvest. I had my perennial... I had my thoughts about perennial harvest, but I must admit they do put a nice party. Hmm. Still reading, miss? Still reading, miss. Who are you? Piper, you're actually taking a break from studying. I wanted to see what this owl festival was all about. But I can't help but notice you still brought your backpack full of books. Look, a backpacks can carry a lot more than just books. Churchill. So what you got in there? Books. Wow. I was able to return the perennial harvest safety suit you borrowed. I don't think anyone noticed. Good. Now I will, uh, will you tell me what you needed it for? It's a favor from an enemy of an enemy. This isn't going to harm Mr. Kerr, isn't it? All you need to know is that it's good for the family. Suspicious. Suspicious, suspicious, suspicious. Very suspicious. Look, how did you know the Beacon Pants actually in a pre record and all the people didn't know that you're going to go do that? You're going to go do what you mean when the public and the public and the treatment regulations, but that's great to what you're talking. Emergency service. Wow, that little kid. Hey, Luca. So you're done at the library? Huh? Oh, Luca no, nothing. Luca looked away suspiciously. What? Nothing at all. Hey. 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 What? Ah. 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 Yep. The library is somewhere quiet. I got it. I got it. I look up. eyes lit with excitement. I've been expecting you. Bravo on deciphering the first riddle. The first. Oh, you didn't think that was all, did ya? Rolo, this all out, doesn't Kato he? straightened up and cleared his throat as if preparing to sing. Ahem. On planet Farpool, you may take issue. When the fifth king dies, you'll need the tissue. Kato stared at Luca eagerly. Get it? Want me to tell you? No, it's okay. Let me figure it out. All right, when you find it, bring it here to be verified. And if you decide you want a hint, the offer still stands. On planet Farl, Farpool, you might take issue. When the fifth king dies, you'll need the tissue. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Luca grabbed the Adventures of Hank Atomic, issue number five, from the shelf. Oh, once you've got the book, bring it to me. Just grab a different one. No, no, this is the one. This is the one. You Kato found removed it. his book from the desk and replaced it with Luca's, turning on the lamp. Perfect. As he slid the book under the purple light, two words glowed. Wow, Rolo really has a nice... Uh, Adventures of Hank Atomic, issue 5. He really has a little bit of a detective anymore, spy, whatever. Luca what now? his tongue with recognition. Uh-huh. Rolo Cypherpen. He used to write secret message everywhere with that. And only I had a special flashlight to reveal it. But I lost it. Well, apparently the trade job for this purple light bulb. Parted with its entire Halloween candy stash. Oh, Rolo. Now, let's see there. Kato began flipping through the pages, stopping when he hit a glowing word. Get away with such a grip. He continued flipping. Mm. Only found in 
Grab. Cut. Reaching the end of the book, Kato looked up. That's it. Grift in grip cart. Grift in grif griffin. Griffin's grip cart. He wants me to go to Griffin's snack stand. Ah, uh, brilliant! I guess you're off then. Good luck on the rest of the scavenger hunt. Thanks, Kato. But we have been there. That is why he turned away. Ah, we were. We almost found out. We almost did. We almost did. So far, this looks quite pleasant. There we go. Hey, Griffin. Did Raul Luca? Before Luca could finish his sentence, Griffin handed him a corn dog. Oh, that's it. Both and paid for. Enjoy. I thought there was supposed to be some ribbon or something. Taking a sizable bite out of the corn dog. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, that's been sitting here for a while. Rolo wanted me to be sure to give you that one specifically. Well, that's Luca just. tongued at his cheeks, feeling something rough between his teeth. He reached into his mouth and pulled out a slip of paper. Oh, come he on! He shook off the bits of corn dog to read the slip. A pick up when you need some pep. Near the fountain Luca up the finished step. off the remainder of the corn dog. Uh, this is getting to be a whole thing. A pick up when you need a pep. Near the fountain up the step. Well, uh, that's definitely the coffee shop. That's 100% coffee shop. There it is. Let's see. Any secrets left and right? Let's talk to these. So. There you are, Luca. There is no way I'm actually doing this. It's way below my pay grade. Oh, come on. You big stuff. Let the kid have some fun. Fine. But Roll owes me one. He waved his hands around sarcastically as he began. What takes flight but has no wings? Your final stock, a friendship brings. See, that wasn't so hard. Hard. Bleh, it feels cheap and somehow. I think it's sweet. What takes flight but has no wings? Your final task, a friendship brings. Good luck, Luca. What has... What doesn't... Oh, he's waiting for us. Oh, what, what a cute friend. He's even got balloons. Hey. Hey. Did you find the comic book? Yep. And you got the corn dog? Yeah. Well then, uh... I know it doesn't make up for what I said, but here you've earned us. Rolo sheepishly handed Luca the balloons. Nice. Thanks. You didn't have to go all out this trouble. I'm sorry I got so mad. Dang it, you were supposed to let me apologize first. Ah, oh, sorry. Now you've apologized twice before me. Just let me do this. Look, I'm really sorry. With everything that's happened with your mom and all, I've always wanted to be there for you, you know? To be a good friend. When you said you were hanging out with someone else, I kind of freaked out. Rolo. It's still my turn. I felt like I, need, I needed some, some new friends to help you. I, I, it, it meant that I wasn't good enough. But I was selfish and wrong. I, I was wrong. I'm sorry, Luca. Okay, apology over. Now you can talk. threw himself at Rollo, hugging him as tightly as he could. Cuties. Rollo, I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you either. That's why we deserve each other. So, what else you want to do today? We could snoop around and try to find some info about your mom. Snoop where? We could probably sneak into Planar Harvest HQ while everyone's at the festival. Aren't you curious about all that stuff those clippers write down? What if we get caught? I think I had enough excitement for one week. Let's just make the rest of the day about us. Really? Yeah, the rest of the world can wait one more day. You know? I've been wanting to get some work done on the MCD at Mission Control. The aim is a bit unpredictable. Sounds perfect. Head to the treehouse with Rolo. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. Uh, treehouse. Uh, yeah. Treehouse, this way. Oh, I love we're taking the balloons with us, guys. Actually, super cute. Non-Crete store. Hey, guys, we've made up. We're best friends now. We're good. We're good. Just a little bit of, you know, childish boy stuff. 
and this shoots to push us down to wherever. No crickets, no bugs, no nothing. Uh, oh, am I going wrong? Oh my god, oh my god. We gotta go back to the festival, Jesus. I'm a little bit of, uh, distracted. Let's go to the festival. It's a little bit of a peaceful day, guys. I don't trust any single thing. Something is going to happen. It's the day of the festival. Look how peaceful everything is. Oh, without a problem, everything is. This is going to be bunkers. We're going to be crazy explosions and uh, whatever. Whatever. Mm -mm. Did you hear? After Miss Skr gives his big speech, we're gonna have a first annual big catch competition. As long as the boot qualifies as a catch, I'm shooting. Good luck. Let's do this, by the way, guys. We've got some, uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's... Oh. Wait. Almost. There we go. We've got some... We've got two new badges. Let's try them. We might unlock something... Oh, we've got nothing. Ah. Okay. I thought we've got... We had some badges. Apparently, we don't. Apparently we don't. Okay. Let's go to the treehouse. Mission control. Authorized personnel only. Yeah, we know that. We know that. So, let's climb up, I guess. Head to the treehouse. Oh, I almost forgot. I ran into your grand this morning. She asked me to give her this. I'll wait for you inside if you want to read it now. A letter? Some things are going to happen that might be difficult for you to understand. What? No, 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 no. I hardly understand them myself. No, 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 no. Whatever happens, I need you to know that I love you. What are we gonna do? This is fair to you. You have already lost so much. We both have. I wish there was a simpler way forward, but if there is, I haven't thought of it. Can this game stop giving me goosebumps? Jesus. Everything I've done, I did for you. I hope someday you can accept that. Love, Gran. I love you too, Gran. folded the paper into his pocket and had it up the ladder. What is happening, guys? Oh, no. What's up with the letter? Anything you want to talk about? Maybe later. Sure, whenever you want. You know, you really didn't have to go all out to just apologize. I know, but we've been looking forward to the festival for weeks. After I ruined everything with my big mouth, this was the best way to make sure you still got a good time without me. I was at a loss for words, but that was fine. Words aren't always necessary. True. The festival seemed nice, was it? We can still go. Nah, it's fine. Well, there's always next Sadly, year. This was untrue. No. A distant rumble shook the treehouse. Oh god, I got. What? What was that? Oh man, we missed the fireworks. It was, fireworks. It was something the boys couldn't possibly <laughs> comprehend. Something as old and cruel as time itself. What? The what? The what? A shockwave of cold tore through the room. A bitter, unfathomable chill. What? Before they could react, it encased them in ice. Two boys, reunited by friendship, only to be cruelly separated by a malevolence beyond reason. What? So, our story ends on this melancholy, no! silent treehouse turned statuary in a town brought low by its secrets sits a pair of friends alone together did grand just blow us up For the rest of time the end no that can't be the ending what it simply can't the hell how can they keep on doing I this accept it and i hope you won't either no there are more endings more possibilities. I, I can feel it. You sure? Just going to have you to wrote the book. All until we find the one that fits. You wrote through them, not me. Heart, chill, shame, flight. God. Let's go right. Let's go right. 
so we've had the fight but now let's fly it let's flee he drew himself up and decided to take the only option they had what left. in the name of god he is always this down the barrel of the mission control defense cannon aiming it through an opening in the dense tree branches oh smart 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 let's go let's go let's go let's go genius he looked up with surprise genius as it struck true and taught well i can't believe that worked hey mr Kerr. We'd love to hear your thoughts, but I'm afraid we have to be places. Come on, Iggy! Yeah. See ya, Jax! <laughs> oh, fine. We know where, the, where that leads them. This way, we'll take the house. Luca and Iggy winced as they sprinted through the thicket. The branches clawed at them, reluctant to give passage. After what felt like a marathon, Luca stopped in his tracks as they reached the clearing. It's getting what the? to the climax. That was all he was able to say before Iggy slammed into his back. The boys tumbled down a steep decline and crashed with a wheezing thud on a surface as hard as ice. In fact, it was I It was Chapter ice. Chapter 5. Again 5. Lines, they stood silently, catching their breath. The sky was like sapphire. With each breath, a plume of steam escaped from Luca's lungs. Let's keep moving. Luca pulled Iggy to his feet as they gazed across a snowy terrain. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was actually pretty badass. Huh? I think yeah, we lost yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we up in the mountains? I don't think so. If anything, we went downhill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now what's up with this winter wonderland? All I know is there's no going back where we came from. Let's see if we can go out of the bay rings. Follow me. What? The name. A disc of smooth metal was lightly <clears throat> covered in snow. Two faint seams were visible along the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manhole cover? If this is it, I've never seen one like this before. Luca! Look out, you're here. almost forgotten the walkie-talkie he was carrying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that Bozo Care? I hope nothing's bad what happened to you out in the Luca woods. looked at Iggy with hesitation. No need to be with rude. A sigh, Luca responded. It seems like the only dangerous thing in the woods is you. He speaks, the young man of the hour. Now, how in... Tarnation, did you end up with one of our radios? Just like I guess. Boy, how do you Van Horns are full of surprises, aren't you? You know my parents? I never had the honor to meet your parents, but your mom sure was a handful. Luca winced, shoving the walkie-talkie back Ooh. into his yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta keep moving. This is something special. This? But guys, this is the tree! This looks exactly like the place. This is exactly where the grave is. Where is the house? The house is gone. What's the readout? Just sitting above 250 to 58 Kelvin. That's down a bit from last time. Should we report to Mr. Kerr? Meh. Still few safe rangers. It may be spreading, but it's under control for now. Even a small nudge in the equilibrium could cause a cascade. Dude, relax. Just a few more sights to hit before we can punch out. Let's get over with it. This looks exact. Did we, did we go through time? What's all this? How to say with all the snow? I think it's a down sign. I can almost make out the letters in there. What town could this even be here? There could be another town this deep. This deep into Weepwood. I'm looking for evidence on the contrary. Let's figure out what we're dealing with here. Step one, snow's gotta go. I'll see what I can do. What do you mean? Oh. Uh-huh. Snow's gotta go. Ah, oh, damn it. Try again. Go a bit further away. Welcome to the Beacon Pines. The disbelief at the sign that now clearly read. Welcome to Beacon Pines. This doesn't make any sense. We're in Beacon Pines. How is that possible? We ran away from town. How did we get back here? Guess we got turned around. Where did all the snow come from? 
But it's been colder than normal lately. There's a pretty big difference between weather, sweet sweater weather and arctic hellscape. The battle we fought at before. It was cold too. Maybe all of this leads to the one source. You think it's related? What the hell's going on? Gonna get you some answers. Let's keep moving. Oh god. The fencing listened. Each chain link encapsulated with a translucent layer of ice. Looks like the stuff they put up around Rewood. The stuff who put up? I don't know. But when it, did we travel through time? The stuff looks familiar to you? It looks like the barrel near the puddle I uh, shoved in me, yeah. It's all frozen. At the frozen stream, Luca could faintly see a school of minnows encased in the ice. Whatever happens, it happened fast. The fish didn't even have time to run. Or, you know, swim run. Guys, everything is even broken down. What the, the hell? Steps trailing Luca went hush. I do not understand. He back to see Iggy's face twisted with confusion. Everyone's gone. What? There's nothing here but some snow. There must be some explanation for all of this. We have to keep looking. You can look all you want. I quit. Iggy, we have to keep moving. You don't get it, do you? This is one of your f pathetic Hank Atomic stories, huh? We're not going to save the day. We're not going to save ourselves. My face is mangled, the town is destroyed, and everyone we ever known is gone. You don't know that. You can just quit. Do whatever you want. I'm done. Iggy, it's gonna be okay. Luca we think? upward at the darkening sky. He let out a long, foggy breath. Faintly, <clears throat> Iggy began to cry. Seeing Iggy in such a pathetic state gave Luca a sense of compassion. And more than a little guilt. It is getting pretty late, I think. Probably not a great idea to stumble around in the dark way. Luca allowed himself to collapse next to Iggy. Let's just rest for a bit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. For exhaustion, their minds would be racing, trying to make sense of the events of Do the day. Do not rest in snow. As it was, all they had energy for was to sit in silence. Do not sit in silence. You'll freeze to death, my boys. Go inside a building at least. The way the snow covers everything. It's kind of calming. Yeah. I haven't had the time to say it, but thanks. Huh? For getting us away from those creepers. I sort of froze up back there. Thank you. I should apologize to you. This all happened because I lost my temper. Nah, that's Bilaki. First of all, you didn't know what a girl could do. You didn't, right? Of course not. And second, stop with this bell on you and about losing your temper. But I did lose Iggy my temper. motioned sarcastically to his half-deformed face. Obviously. That's exactly what you should have done. Huh? I was being a horse ass. You were supposed to be a horse ass in response. That's how it works. Iggy, I'm having a hard time following here. You wanted me to fight? Of course! Jeez, you goody goody types make forever to understand the very basic point. Why would you go around saying cool things trying to get into fights? Shrugged. No, I know, it's something to do. You're an asshole because you're bored. Ah, sometimes I just feel, you know, empty. You wouldn't understand. You and Roll are always having a blast together. Laughing and calling that dinky little treehouse mission Iggy control. Wept openly. Perfect little Luca Van Horn. But it's perfect little life. My life's not perfect. Everybody in town likes you. Not everybody. Hell, that new girl hasn't even impacted and she's already likes you. You have fish. his nose with a sleeve. I love Tish. Tish is great. But she ain't exactly the world's greatest conversationalist, you know. Warm chuckle. Hmm. I got that Iggy impression. His throat as he wiped his eyes. Yeah, it must be raining out here. Definitely. Arched into a wide yawn. No, 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 no. We should probably try to get somewhere to sleep. Yeah. Let's lay low for now. Tomorrow we'll get to the bottom of all of this. No, 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 no. 
Luca? Yeah. I always did want to see the inside of your dinky little treehouse. What do you think? Not bad. I'll give you a full tour when we're back. You know what? That's all Luca could whisper before succumbing to sleep. No. He snuggled in some more. No. When it comes to the worst days of my entire life, this one wasn't half bad. No, don't freeze to death. The house smelled of warm bread. Oh Luca no. Was playing with toy blocks on the living room rug. Oh he no, another nightmare. His parents on the couch. No. His mother held his father's head in her lap. She idly stroked his hair. While no, no, saw. no, no, no. A voice behind Luca spoke. This is how you remember them, huh? Luca turned. I got chills again. Face. This, this is no the good. The doppelganger from his dreams, still clad in a yellow hazmat suit, still what? carrying a look of disdain. What is this time traveling oh. thing? Look at this perfectly cozy scene. Mm. You know it wasn't really like this. Then how was the it? Picked up a toy block and inspected it. It's amazing the facades that one can build given the right materials. Not that I blame <clears> us. <throat> These are a child's memories, all warm and fuzzy. What is you going don't on? Remember, do you? No. Luca snatched the block from the figure's yellow gloved hand. Remember what? The doppelganger pointed to the couch. What is the going on? The last day on? we saw him alive. Are our memories fake? The day he chose to abandon us. Are we back in time? To look at his father, still lounging on the couch. That's not true. He didn't abandon us. The doppelganger waved his hand dismissively. Everything is true here. It's just a matter of what we choose to see. Well, let me show you. The world flickered and pulsed. Luca was sitting next to his bed, listening to his heartbeat with one of his dad's stethoscopes. The doppelganger limped into the room. No, no. We both know that's not how this went. He grabbed Luca's hand and guided the stethoscope to the floor. What? Luca heard muffled shouting, brought close by the stethoscope. Oh, it no. was his parents, fighting. Do you oh no. Remember what we did next? <clears throat> Luca gave a slow nod and crept down the hall to peek through the banister. He could see the outline of his mother at the bottom of the stairs. Damn it, Walt. We can't afford to get involved in this. She was scared. His father stepped forward. What am I supposed to do? Just watch? There's a sickness in this town, and we both know who's behind it. We I swore an oath to help people. I won't turn my back on them. Luca's mother grabbed Walt. She was crying, pleading. I can't lose you. So that's... Walt calmly removed what's Eleanor's happening. hand from his shoulder. What's right is right. And what's wrong is wrong. I could never live with myself if I let Sharper get away with this. Sharper. Eleanor raised her voice. Sharper. Spare me your bullshit platitudes. What about our son? Luca flinched, dropping the stethoscope down the stairs. Walt turned with a panicked smile. Luca? Is that you, buddy? With tears in his eyes, Luca descended the stairs. Mom? Dad? What's going on? Walt dropped to a knee to meet Luca eye to eye. Nothing, buckaroo. Your mom and I just got a little overexcited is all. Luca placed the stethoscope against his father's chest. His heart was racing. It's getting it crazy, like guys. You were going somewhere? He is Walt going somewhere. Remove the device from Luca's ears. Listen to me, Luca. I have some business to take care of. You want to save the town? To tuck you in. Luca hugged his father. He tightly. was murdered. Promise. Walt stood up and walked to the door. He glanced over his shoulder. I promise. With a wink and a grin, he put on his hat and strode out into the evening sun. What do you think, guys? A We're figure still alive. emerged soundlessly from the foggy snowfall. Ooh. It stood above them, lingering in contemplation. Slowly raising <clears> one <throat> hand above Iggy, it snapped out two brisk raps on his head. From a deep slumber, Iggy sprang up defensively. I <laughs> get your hands off me! Was the calming presence or the recognition that he was not in danger? Iggy felt his clenched fists lower. <laughs> Just why you think you do, huh? Looked up, gradually remembering his whereabouts, the figure exhaled a cloud of warm vapor. That is certainly have caused a lot of commotion. What is it supposed to mean? It's easy, Iggy. We're asleep, minding our own business. You're the one running around knocking people's heads. I'm sorry if I hurt you, Iggy. Then, then, anybody, anybody. 
Huh? Oh, I see. You think you're better than me, you. When it came to complete strangers, Icky had trouble cobbling together an insult. You big headed, scarfy neck, furball? Hmm. Okay, let's lower the temperature here a bit. Interesting choice of words. I mean, it's all calm. Let's all calm down. Who are you? A friend. An observer. A hitchhiker on the infinite expanse of possibilities. Great. How about a name? Hmm. If you must call me something, you can call me Nat. He huffed with gratification. How about you make a little Gnat buzz off? Very well. Nat began to turn away indifferently. Wait! Do you live here? Hmm. You might say that. So you know where we are? You might also say that. Look, pal, we just want to find a safe way out of here. Can I help us or not? Before knowing how to leave, one must know where they are. Alright, that does it. Look, I don't know about you, but I ain't gonna out of here one way or another. Iggy turned sharply and began to stomp off. Enough with the riddles. Iggy, wait up! Realizing he'd worn their patience then, Nat relented. Very well, very well. I suppose this isn't time of metaphors. I'll show you how to get back Iggy home. And Iggy turned around with hope in their eyes. <clears throat> what? Come here. Nat took a deep breath in. Close your eyes. Nat exhaled slowly, then snapped his fingers. Okay, open them. For a brief moment, Luca and Iggy let themselves believe that some great magic was about to unfold. Until they opened their eyes and found themselves in the exact same place, cold and disheartened. This is your home. This is Beacon Pines. Look, Nat, we don't know how we got here. Maybe we stumbled through some time travel gate in Weepwood. Or we teleported to some alternate universe. Or it's all just some cruel experiment by Care and his goons. But this is not our home. You're inching closer to the truth. Uh, alas, the reality is much less fanciful. I just give it a straight, man. So be it. As I said, this is Beacon Pines. The original true Beacon Pines. Huh? Huh? You both grew up here. But the town you called your home for the last several years is a replica. A remarkable achievement of engineering, to be fair. But a replica nonetheless. That's impossible. It's too much work. You need a whole town to replicate the whole town. Indeed, to pull off such a feat would require immense labor power. That which could be moved would be moved. That which could not would require a precise duplicate. We would have noticed. Someone would have noticed. You think so? Unless the audacity or, or, or the thing was impeccable. A mind-numbing attention to detail. As for the numeral trivialities which completed the tapestry. Well, you can leave that to the miraculous thing we call a brain. It's all a real aver uh, aversion to this continuity. A revulsion even, even. The brain has a wonderful way of smoothing out the rough edges, keeping us sane. What? Look and Iggy look down uncomfortably. So you're saying that someone made the entire town and moved us all and no one noticed? Precisely. But why? Why is the one question that can never be answered with certainty? Then the best one can do is uncover. He narrowed his eyes, furrowed his brow, and uttered. The source. Why do you say the source like that? Why, indeed. Luca began to laugh uncomfortably. This is ridiculous. There is no way they he could. He down at his feet. His eyes started back and forth in contemplation. With a sudden pain, a thought struck him. It's really his home. He sprinted off into the pale distance. As Iggy turned to follow, Nat called out. Iggy! It's not too late to turn back. Simply head west through Weepwood. My mind is getting blown. Chapter six. The source. The Nat source. expressed his sympathy with a shrug and sauntered off as unassumingly as he'd arrived.
Okay. He's given Luca and Iggy what they needed, and nothing more. Okay. As Luca sprinted across the snow, the events of the past few days became clearer, pieces to a larger puzzle. What Only puzzle? He was underground somewhere. Okay. Captured. Okay. Mr. Kerr tried to cover it up with lies. Yes. The clipboards were hell bent on capturing Iggy. Yes. It all seemed to point to perennial harvest. True. But right now, there was one thing that Luca needed to know. His grave. Father's grave. Luca stopped dead in his tracks. The tree was gone, uprooted and moved, leaving a raw gash in the earth. He dropped to his knees and dug wildly at the cold snow. His numb <clears throat> hands hit something hard. A headstone. A dry whisper escaped Luca's lips. You're here. All this time I thought you were visiting you. But you were here alone in the snow. Dad, I'm sorry. They ruined your favorite spot in the world. Our favorite spot in the world. Dad, what do I do? There was no reply. Just snow-covered silence. <laughs> Why'd you give the slip to me like that? What if I couldn't find you, you jerk? I finally noticed the tears welling in Luca's eyes and the snow-covered grave. Oh. Iggy, they... They stole the tree, Iggy. Yikes. Suddenly, they heard the crunch of approaching footsteps in the snow. We dead? Are we dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hide! Oh no, are we dead? Oh, there's a t these two guys. 259, Kelvin. Fall off distance, still good. Dude, you hear me? I said 259. Oh, sorry. You ever think about what we did here? We saved the whole town of people. Doesn't feel like it sometimes. What about everything we left behind? There's a grave of someone with a family. The people who love them will never know the truth. The truth is overrated. Went down to scoop up a snowball and loved it playfully. Hey. Don't be such a downer, dude. We took this job to change the world. Yeah. Come on. It's almost lunchtime. Huh, weirdo. This is getting weird indeed, guys. Here, I thought I was a jerk. These, these, these dinguses are out here literally dancing on graves. Stuttered through heaving sobs. I thought I was visiting him. I was thought I was visiting him. I thought he was with me. I'm gonna lie, that's a, that's a bad break. Here's some advice. A solid smack on the back of his head. Bam. Hey. How is any of this helping? What? Sitting here in the snow, crying like a pushover. Who are you helping? Iggy, look what they did. They lied to everyone. Blah, 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 blah. Look up and horn, you lot of things, but yeah, no pushover. What did I tell you before, huh? When someone jerks, when some jerks come at you acting like a horse ass, I should stand up for myself. Hell yeah. Karen is made a little brand of clipboards pulled off this switcheroo for a reason, right? Not mentioned something about the source. Luca wiped his eyes with a sleeve. Whatever is at the source must be awfully valuable to plenty of harvest. Sure would be a shame if something fortunate were to happen if their precious source, wouldn't it? What do you have in mind? It's a small enough to steal, we snatch it. If it's too big to snatch, we smash it. What if it's too big Iggy to smash? He flashed a mischievous smile and cracked his knuckles. Yes, I'm always up for a challenge. I'm gonna make this right, Dad, I promise. Let's do this. Locate the source. Alright. Alright. Well, are we gonna go down there? I can get an awful cold out there in the woods, Luca. Possibly best you stay put and conserve your energy. Helps on the way. Where's Rollo? Where's my mom? Ooh, did you kill her? Oh, heavens no. Do I seem like a killer Iggy to you? And Luca shared a skeptical look. Well, do I? Ah, checks. Now that hurts my feelings. Screw that guy. Let's jump until we fall through. We can't? We can't. Then we go back. If possible. The source. We go to perennial harvest. Through here. Wait a minute. 
This is the original town, and that means. Iggy darted behind a large pine and began digging furiously. He emerged holding a shoebox with a crude skull painted on its lip. A box of memory. What's that? Lang's died. A few years back, I uh, now came into possession of some premium grade fireworks. Now, the wimpy firecracker stuff they have gets. Good stuff. So, why did you bury it under a tree? It's a long part of the story. You and Rollo were doing chores at Rollo's chicken coop, and you guys pissed me off for some reason or another. I rolled his eyes with realization. No, you didn't. He stifled a chuckle. Yep, I just wanted to give you guys a little scare. Like I said, these were some primal fireworks. So I might have underestimated things. You blew up the chicken coop! I prefer to, th to think of it as an incendiary, incendiary redecoration. Uh, sorry, but you should have seen the look on your faces. You look at crowned for months! Which is why I needed to stash the evidence and lay low. So I buried them under the tree. But when I came back from later, they were gone. I figured some grown up found them and dust. triumphantly raised the shoebox. Turns out it wasn't the fireworks that got moved, it was us. Unbelievable. Alright. Alright. Very odd. Do you think this is a game? Newsflash, boyo. You're not a hero. You're a little brat who is in the way of his head. A hero is just someone who refuses to give up. Comics these days are rotting children's brains. Everyone thinks they're a spaceman hero. Um, um, I was always partially to thank Atomic myself. Is that so? Do you really think you have a chance against us? You have no idea how powerful we are. Prepare for blast of losers. I don't know, guys. Oh, shoot. Luca and Iggy inched up to the edge of the hole with bewilderment in their eyes. Arctic air breathed out of the cavern in heaving gusts. Echo, 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 echo. Wow! I can see why they wanted to move with the whole town now. But why did they dig a whole giant hole? I think this is it. This is the source? It's a dang hole. How do we smash a hole? Oh no. Oh, it's much more than that, my annoying little friend. Here! Where's Rollo? Wasn't lying before, he's safe. Well, safer than you two at least. Dart, it's cold. You just had to drag me all the way out here, didn't you? Mr. Kerr gazed down the abyss in contemplation. It really isn't something. What did you do to our town? What is all of this? Well, that's a doozy of a question. This is the source where the collector unrefined. Uh... The back of his head. Honestly, boys, I don't understand any of this well enough to explain it. Fact of the matter is, I'm not paid to now. What are you? What do you mean? You don't know? Ain't you in charge? Oh heavens no, my role is merely to flash a winning smile and manage various complications. Complications like us? <laughs> you are a smart boy. His face contorted into a saccharine grin. It really is nothing special, nothing personal. Some people are destined to strive for greatness, and others are simply obstacles along the way. Seems like you're destined to be a creepy lucky. The point is that we all play a part in our life. Mine just happens to be a lead in the role of a lifetime. And you happen to be extras ready for your curtain of call. We aren't giving up without a fight. Your smile not gonna go winning after you're done with you. Now boys, there's no need for melodrama. <laughs> it, it makes even a professional just myself embarrassed for you. Let's change the mood a bit, shall we? Scene change! Oh no! There, that's better. Deal with them. Iggy turned to Luca with a sly glance. Why are you smirking? Because I have a box of fireworks and you don't! Iggy waved the box into the air, threatening to drop it down the hole. Stop! Let's not do something regrettable. Jokes on you! Regret is one of my specialties! Out of curiosity, what would happen if I threw this into your precious hole? 
Nothing. Nothing at all. You're a terrible liar. I'll have you now. I'm an exceptional liar. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's far he enough. Plucked a single bottle rocket from the box and held it up with reverence. Stop, you fool! Go off your goons! After a long pause, Mr. Kerr flung up his hand with frustration. Ah, very well. You all can get back for the night. It's been a long day. I'll handle this dude from here. Yeah, dense, dense, dense. Uh, it's just uh, a snow wiggy. <laughs> you can put that down. What, like, li like this? Flick, tossed the firework into the hole. He did not. Oh. through Luca. <laughs> Iggy tried to twist away, but in the struggle they both tumbled over the side. Oh shit. Luca dove forward, bracing Iggy's hand just before it slipped. Oh no. Grip oh no. Carries by the cold wet snow. Oh no. He could see Kerr further down clinging to Iggy's coat. <laughs> you reckless child, what have you done? <laughs> Listen to me, Luca. <laughs> Hold on, Titan. Use the walkie talkie to call them back. How? How? What channel do I use? It doesn't. It doesn't make a damn difference. They're always listening. If you do that, the Clippers will just haul up and snag us both. The only way out of this is if carries out of the picture. Just let go and save yourself. If if you let's go, we both die. I don't want to die, but seeing the look in your face almost makes it worth it. Mister Care, you've had a long life. Why don't you actually do? Something yourself and just let go. Mr. Kerr gasped with insult. Long life? I'll have you know I'm still I can still play 25. You you should have heard me sing the part of Philip is young. Look in his eye, Mr. Kerr began to hum a proud melody. <laughs> well, can you believe this guy? Lucas hand began to cramp. Why are we still getting badges? Is this still not done? Okay, just let go. No can do. <laughs> if you want to save your friend, you'll have to save me too. Luca, look at me. It's okay. Luca felt Iggy loose in his grasp. You aren't going to kill your friend like that, are you? Every muscle in Luca's body burned. It's not. I'm not his friend. Yes, you are. Nah, I'm just a no good bully. Like you, Ker. Iggy, no. his hand slipping. And I told you that you need to do it, bellies. Can't. It's only. It's your only way out of this mess. Two birds with one stone. It makes sense for us to fall together. What could do is travel in packs. settled over Iggy's face. Luca, let me do this. Iggy's voice was colder than the bitter air billowing from the chasm. Let me do the right thing for once. I need a bit of water, guys, before we make this decision. Oh, God. I think. Let's go for the hard choice. We accept. Luca had no choice but to accept Iggy's request. <clears throat> With a quiet blink, Luca watched a teardrop sail down into the howling <coughs> void. As his fingers slowly gave up, he met eyes with Iggy. Good. It's actually not okay that we did it. The two silhouettes were swallowed by darkness. Hello, a goodbye, Iggy. Luca, you should really step back. What? Quickly. Curious. Ah, but of course. Those fireworks of Vicky must have been just the right amount of energy. We should get out of here before Perina Harvest arrives. Not until you tell me what just happened. Your friend's sacrifice just saved the stone. For a little while, anyway. 
Well, Pampus Lycomam is a peculiar substance. It can change the relationship between matter and time itself. Doing so requires unfathomable energy. In a closed system, that energy can only come from its surroundings. A useful side product of its property being. By adding precisely the correct amount of energy to, uh, to it, one can create a cryogenic cascade. So the gunk makes it cold and the fireworks make a whole freeze over? That's one way of putting it, yes. Huh, <laughs> a dumb black would have it, the fireworks weren't strong enough to generate a runaway reaction. <clears throat> I shudder to think what would happen in that we case. We have some idea what that would look like. It will make... It will take them a good while to safely break through and access the source again. If you know all about this stuff, why aren't you helping? They have been, in my way. Each one of us has a role to play. Iggy's role, it turns out, was by... this precious time. Mine was to observe and wait. Wait for what? You. Me, why? What's my role? A twinkle flashed in Nat's eyes. Luca Van Horn. You are going to save the world. With a chuckle, Nat okay. turned and walked west. Dumbfounded, okay. Luca followed behind him, trudging through the snow. Okay. Every step taking him further away from everyone and everything he knew and closer to destiny to be continued in beacon pines pines harder but revenge served cold second times a charm to charm what wait wait that's it Wait. This ends with a crummy cliffhanger just when it was getting good? No. I was even starting to like Iggy. Yeah, same. No way. I refuse to be associated with some never-ending parade of sequels. Let's go back and find something more definitive. All right, guys. Good. We have got he we, we still have here something. We have What do we have something new? Here as well. Oh my god, guys. This is for next episode. I'm sorry this episode lasted a little bit longer than expected. I was very excited. But we're going to finish here. Thank you much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment down below, guys. And I will see you next episode. Have a good day, everyone.